Installing and indicating a vise. This is the first video in a video series of milling machine basics. The disclaimer, this video is made for apprentices. Before we get started, please take a moment to like and subscribe. Okay, let's get started right now. The tool list. It is important to gather all of your required tools to do any particular job before you start the job. These are the tools you require to install and indicate a vise. This is not in any particular order. A 3 8 Allen key, a six millimeter Allen key, a machinist square, beam and blade style. You'll see in the video why this is important. It can be done with other squares, but this is the preferred square to use. A single parallel, preferably thicker than the one that I'm using. A vice handle or a 7 8 wrench. Indicator holding method. There are quite a few options out there. Here's just a couple of them. Plug style indicator holder. It's used when you're using collet system, so it can be put into almost any collet. An adjustable indicator arm. And probably the most popular, a drill chuck. A soft faced hammer piece of brass or aluminum. We use a Girardi vise system and on the Girardi vices there is not a solid jaw. There's actually movable jaws that pull the workpiece down and they require special adjustment. There's a secondary video that I have. This is a link to it. This video will help if you're not familiar with this style of vise. During the filming of this video I had a mask, face shield, and it was very difficult to hear me. I'm going to be using voiceovers. Okay, so here's our mill table and our vise. We have our vise on the table. We take our square, which is a beam and blade, push it up against the table, see how it locks in, push the vise up against, and now we're ready to set our first clamp. So what we have at this point in time is our vise is perpendicular to the edge of the table. Okay, now that we have our first clamp in position, we want to nip one end of the clamp down or only one position down because we want this to create a pivot point for the vise. So we know that it's going to rotate around that one clamp. Remember we are only snugging the clamp, not over tightening. At this point in time we're only putting one clamp in. We're nipping it down to create a pivot point. The reason why we don't use two clamps is because we don't know which way the table will pivot when we tap the bottom of the vise. The side screw pushes down on the ball bearing and locks it into the position inside of the vise. And just for argument's sake, we'll say that that is the movable clamp lock. This is how the movable clamp lock engages with the movable jaw. Movable jaw clamp in and the movable jaw in as well. So we need to lock it into position and then tighten our vise up. So therefore, we're going to use our 6 millimeter Allen key and push down on that ball bearing into one of the grooves in the track at the bottom of the vise. When it's securely located, you tighten the bolt down and it'll push down on the ball bearing. Now we can move the uh, jaw clamp in, which will push the movable jaw forward and clamp the parallel in place. The reason why we were indicating a parallel and not the actual back of the jaw is because the jaws may not be set. If they're not locked into place, they will move when tightened. So therefore, you tighten a parallel and that eliminates that problem. And it is best practice to indicate the back of the parallel. In this case, I'm going to use a finger indicator and a flexible indicator holder. Another tool I could also use is an indicator plug. This type of holder is most often used when using collets. Here's what it looks like if you use the indicator plug. So I'm bringing it down, lining up onto the back side of the parallel, and then sweeping back and forth a couple of times until I see where I'm out. Then I'm going to get a hammer or a piece of brass or aluminum to be able to tap the vise back and forth into an alignment position. So I'm sweeping back and forth to check to see if my alignment's in. Now that I'm in an alignment, I'm going to tighten the other clamps down. Then I'm going to recheck to make sure that during clamping, the vise hasn't moved again. And it looks like it's all good. I know what you're thinking. Why don't you just use vise alignment studs and you don't have to worry about indicating the jaws? There are a couple reasons not to use them, especially in an education environment. First of all, you need to know how to put a vise on and indicate a vise. In unexperienced hands, they have a tendency to damage the tabletop of the mill. The alignment studs are used in two different configurations, one parallel to the x-axis and one perpendicular to the x-axis. I'm glad to see that you enjoyed the video. If you want to see other great videos, check out my YouTube channel, Shop and Math. If you have any comments or questions about this video, please leave them in the comments section below. 
And as always, please like and subscribe. It's free. It'll help me out. All you have to do is click on the icon on my face and I'll do the rest. Thanks for watching. Have a great night.